How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm gonna be doing the top of the hand and the forearm. It's a whole day session, and I am excited because it's a really dope concept. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. How do I look? You look, I mean, you're there. Oh? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you see me a song? Uh, give me a little twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Damn, that was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful, bro. He is the artist behind the voice. <laughs> you ready, bro? Oh, yeah. You excited, nervous? Both. Both? No, excited. <laughs> All right. So we're covering up this crown right here? Yeah. <laughs> Toughest cover up of my life. Yeah, just trying to challenge you, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> so disrespect, my guy, what is this? <laughs> How dare you call it a cover up? <laughs> <laughs> How many emails do you get a month? Which is crazy. I would say, I, I have no idea, but I think the last time uh, the guy who runs the, my website, uh -huh. he, uh, he said that we were at over a thousand emails God, behind. <laughs> and I just answered like 10 a month. Yeah. <laughs> so you just pick random ones, you scroll through it? Uh, yeah, <laughs> and then until we find like some good ideas. Yeah. But as far as like, for me, I want to make sure that whoever I pick is going to be like a crazy, dope piece that's gonna fit the placement yeah, yeah i consider all of those things you know the placement what am i covering up is it my style yeah. can i kill it you know mm. yup all right second stencil there you go Damn, that looks crazy. Oh, yeah. What a stencil. Oh man. Go ahead and check it out in the mirror. Make sure you like the placement. Okay, so the approach that I'm gonna be taking today is um, I'm gonna start with the knuckles area just because I wanna make sure that I put some solid uh, background in it with a little bit of gray, solid black. And I'm gonna be using maybe an 11 curve mag or a 14 round liner just because the hand can be a really sensitive area so we, I gotta make sure that I pack it in and to, to stay super solid as well. The areas that you gotta look out for is the corners here just because we use our hands a lot so those areas you gotta pack it in, take your time just so it can, be a, a, so it can heal really nicely. Then after that I'm gonna move on up and see what I explain next. So. With that being said, let's go, son. Woo! How does it feel being on like on the other side of the camera? Man, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to take it all in right now, like, yeah. It's like you see it, you see it on YouTube, but then yeah. you're on the chair right now. And you got white shoes today? That takes a lot, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm pull this out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Away from your shoes? They're like way too white. I sprayed some stuff on over again. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go then. Oh yeah, there's that feeling. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> One thing that you gotta do on the hand is always take your time, relax. Uh, the hand can be a, a bit complicated to pack in your solid colors, so lower your voltage. I'm, I'm, right now I'm, I'm using a 5.0 voltage, which I actually use 5.0 for every single tattoo I do. Um, but I'm using an 11 curve Mac and I am, what I'm doing right now is just testing it out. You know, I want to make sure that I'm packing it in nicely and, and I'm really liking the way it's performing. I'm using uh, higher levels cartridges. All right, so now I'm going to switch to my 14 round shader. and see which one gives me the best results as far as like how fast I can pack, 
how consistent, and which one's gonna ben benefit me the most. Okay, perfect. Okay, so for the edge, I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna use my 14 round liner just to do the edge of the calendar. Or I, I have more control over how I want the, the calendar to look and to do the rest of the background, I'm gonna use my 11 curve mag. How does it feel? Oh, it's not bad. He's like, it's good. It's trying to be tough for the camera. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, dying inside. Oh. Yeah. It's not too bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I can't handle. I mean, you got your other hand, so. Yeah. That wasn't on camera. <laughs> <laughs> So first thing is first, I'm just gonna start doing the outline of the jaw. For me, contrast is really important because it allows me to, that's what uh, it makes a tattoo stand out from afar. If you have uh, a, a single tone going across the whole entire thing, then from afar it's gonna look like uh, just a whole bunch of ink. But when you have the right amount of contrast, it allows you to distinguish where what it is. There you go. Boom. As I get lower on the jaw, I'm gonna slowly start doing texture to uh, start mapping it out. I'm just lightly gonna go over these little details here. I'm gonna lightly just outline the, the teeth. Cause here there's a lot of black so I gotta make sure that I navigate through it nicely because I definitely don't want to lose the teeth. And now I, I'm gonna do this area here because I really like the, the contrast that he has here so I definitely want to focus on this side of the, the chin area and start working my way this way. So what I'm, I'm using right now is my round line, my nine round liner with a voltage of a 5.0 and I'm doing the scribble technique you know a lot of you have used it and it makes me really happy that it's working for you guys too and yeah this is this is the technique that I use with to uh, execute a whole bunch of texture and give me that, that depth that I'm looking for so right now all I'm doing with my solid black is just mapping it out I'm just mapping it out making sure that I'm that I see the shape of the skull and after I'm done with this with this first layer I'm gonna go back and start uh, deciding where I want most of my contrast. Right in between these gaps, I'm gonna be doing my medium gray to finish off uh, covering up this whole entire area. And with that medium gray, it's gonna complete the, the giving it that depth. 
and the dimension that I want. I'm going back here, I realized that I can add more black. So this is the middle of the jaw area, I mean the chin. And I'm gonna map it out as well, just slowly. All these little textures that I'm doing very lightly, as soon as I add my medium gray, they're gonna show right through and it's gonna give it uh, so much more uh, style to it and realism because black is always gonna overpower gray. So that's why I'm spreading out the texture so when I add my medium gray, it's gonna complement it. Okay, before I keep going, um, I'm gonna start applying my medium gray. On these areas here, I'm gonna be applying some white highlights to make that chin stand out even more. I do feel like some areas are a little too bright uh, on the chin area, so I'm gonna go to my medium gray and dip it on my solid black. Cause I want something right in the middle that's not gonna be too like medium gray, but also not solid black. I want something right in the middle. With my 27 curve mag running my machine at 5.0, I'm gonna be packing a, a solid black to for the hat here for the sombrero. And I really like when it's a lot of coverage like this, when it's a whole bunch of black, um, I like using a bigger mag. I, for me personally, it helps me not irritate the skin as much, and I'm also to do faster coverage and uh, less pain as well. When it's like a, a liner, it is a lot easier for the needle to penetrate the skin. But since I'm using a 27 curve mag, it is, it kind of bounces back and causes less pain. I can feel the vibration on my hand, so that, that is letting me know that I'm, uh, I'm packing it in nicely with uh, uh, very consistent. It's kind of hard to explain how far I have my needle, how far out I have my needle, but all I know is that I can feel this vibration on my hand and that that's it. <laughs> Could be a couple millimeters. I don't know. What do you think? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it doesn't hurt that bad. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Millimeters. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh man, that shit got me. <laughs> Can you tell me how many millimeters this is, Andrew? It's a shitload. <laughs> it's a shitload of millimeters. What about an estimate? It's hard, huh? About like three. Three millimeters? Yeah, you let it hang for sure. Yeah, it's hanging. It is hanging. There you go. You heard it here first.
the way I'm doing circles here, it looks very, very brutal, but I, I don't feel like it's that painful. Not at all. I'm over here speaking for you. It doesn't hurt at all. It actually tickles. Yeah. <laughs> not for real though, how, what, how does it feel? It, it's not bad at all. Yeah. Like compared to the... To the other ones yeah, that I was yeah. using, the smaller uh, cartridges? Yeah. yeah. So this one is probably your favorite, huh? Oh yeah. yeah. Boom, 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 boom. One single stroke. Because the cartridge holds a lot of ink inside, I just go at it. And done. Well, that does look a lot more brutal than what it actually Right? Like. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I'm moving your whole arm mm -hmm. while doing circles. <laughs> yeah, it does. Especially this movement right here. Yeah. This one looks hella brutal. And I bet it looks worse on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I do think it's it's funny though that when I post like this huge projects, mm -hmm. someone in the comments always says numbing cream or spray or if if a client comes in with numbing cream, mm -hmm. I send them home because oh, I cannot tattoo with numbing cream. Yeah, does like it the, change the skin? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Like the skin gets poofy. Uh -huh. Get I don't know. It, it kind of creates like a like a second layer on the skin, and uh -huh. it, it makes it so hard to pack in black. Oh, Some people are able to though. I'm, yeah. uh, I don't want to speak for every artist out there, but for me, I can't. That's why I always tell my clients, like the people who do ask me, mm -hmm. I'd be like, nope, just let it happen, bro. Just, yeah. <laughs> I got you though. I'm gonna make sure I navigate so it won't hurt that much. And the thing is that if that numbing cream wears out in a matter of three hours, we still got another six to go. Oh yeah, yeah. you know you're you're done. Like, after that, you're probably gonna tap out. Yeah, because the pain comes back all at once. There you go, solid black. Ta da! Mm -hmm. Five out of ten pain for sure. Five out of ten. Thank you so much for coming back and watching this brand new video. I really appreciate you. And I want to say thank you to everyone for dropping so many positive comments in my videos and for showing so much love. That means the world to me. And so with that being said, if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.